Booker Striker, Girl in Red. Yeah, at Alt 98.7. What up? How the heck are you? I'm doing pretty good. Do you have any nerves right now? Not because of us two idiots, <laughs> but uh, Coachella starts Friday and you're performing Saturday. It's all come to fruition and you, you're ready to go. I have no nerves because I it's it it, it isn't it isn't reality yet. You know, it's reality until the day comes. For now, I'm just like chilling. Have you been to Coachella? Yeah, never. So, do you? What's your expectation? That's a better question. Um. So, uh, well, I was gonna play there in 2020. Mm-hmm. That shit got canceled. 2021 canceled. So, as of right now, I'm still very much set for it not happening. Just so that like my expectations are very low. It's happening. Yeah. Yeah, it should happen. But so I'm just really excited. I want to see Harry Styles play. I want to like walk around at the backstage area. Apparently the back Coachella backstage is like incredible. So, you know. Well, there are multiple levels of backstage. I mean, there's there's like VIP. Then there's like a super VIP. Yeah, I want all of it. Yeah. You need the artist VIP. There's like a trailer park in the back back where you there's can hang out. There's a pond area where you can yeah. sit and then hear the music going on. With like fishes and stuff? Yes. With oh. fishes in there, girl in red. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Just want to take one of them, you know? Um. So what are you going to do after your performance to next weekend? Are you going to sleep in Palm Springs? Are you going to do other shows? What's the plan? Um... I will have to check Master Tour, which is this app that, you know, uh, I my tour manager keeps telling me to check every single day. But love him. Uh, so honestly, I think I'm just going to I think I'm going to go back to L.A. for a little bit and then um, maybe go to LACMA. I want to go to the museum here. The like the Downtown, very yeah. nice. Okay. You know, I want to like get cold. You know, I got to generate some new thoughts. Well, how, what is your knowledge of Los Angeles? Um, I've 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 went I went to see the Dodgers. Okay. Last time You've I was here. How'd you Ravine? enjoy that? Uh, it was great. I had uh, gigantic beers, and I can't remember the rest. <laughs> Dodger dog? Oh, uh, yes, I did have one, but I didn't. I didn't put any like uh, like ketchup or anything on, so it was kind of like weird and dry. But I had two of those. And I, it came in this like little silver package. It was Solid. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you're Norwegian. Did you go to sporting events? Have you been to sporting events in your home city slash country? No, never. But never. I always I love going to see. I love baseball matches here. That's your favorite sport of all sports. Uh, well, I kind of want to like I want to dive into like basketball, and I want to like you know see some rugby shit. You know. Wow. I want to see all of it. That's so cool. I don't know. I just feel like so American. You know, just pulling up, <laughs> just being like. I don't really give a shit about any of the teams, but I'm like, like, yes, we're winning. And then I'm just like, to the guy next to me, like this big American guy, I'm just like, dude, we're all in this together, you know? A, ma- like, a majority of this outfit I'm wearing, I bought online. Yeah. Ten seconds ago, you were shopping online. So the question is, what were you just looking for online? And do you go shopping to the stores in LA as well? Um, sometimes. I, I, well, I, I bought... Um, well. I, I don't know. I I don't really like stuff anymore, but I found this one brand, which is the pair of pants I'm wearing right now. It's called Gramici, and uh, and it has this little guy on it. And that's um, and that I was on the Gramici.com website earlier. I'm not sponsored. I have to pay still, but yeah. Did you buy it? Did you hit no, like purchase right I, there, there? No, I I was I was ripped away from it. Okay, you know? sorry. But I'm gonna I'm just gonna jump back in unless it says like session yes. timed out and right. then I have to. Two dudes in black were very demanding to girl in red. That's what just happened, and we needed answers to questions. We have serious questions. Yeah. Uh, about your music, let's. We should probably talk about our music. Of course. You're getting to play. I, I know a lot of your success has happened during a time when you didn't get to go out and. And I express yourself and perform, so you're no longer cooped up. What's it? What's it been like for you? Uh, Catching up. It's been, um, it's been great, and it's been also fucking confusing because, like, like you mentioned, I haven't really been like able to play that much. Like, I did. I've done a couple of tours previously, but like, I haven't been able to play my album. So, like, I put my album out, and then like, sort of like was just like. I don't know, people listening, and I don't really notice when people listen. So, but now I'm kind of like, wow, all these people pulling up to these shows are like, wow, Girl in Red is an artist. And I'm like, no, she's not. She's not an artist. Like, who, what are you talking about? Uh, so I, it's, it's kind of like, um, like I have, I don't know. I think artists, I want, uh, you know, like body dysmorphia when like you have a really distorted self image. Yes. I feel like artist dysmorphia should be a thing because like I have a really distorted image of myself as an artist. I don't In see what myself. In what sort of way? You don't believe that the hype is out there because yes. it's, it's, 
It's re- totally yeah. real for you. But, you know, like, I just, like, I, d- I don't get it. Like, you know? So I'm just like, wow, pulling up to the radio, talking about some shit. Like, yeah. I don't know. Why do these people want to talk <laughs> yeah, why, to me? Yeah, why am I invited? Like, why not Katie, my assistant? Why, you know, like, I literally, <laughs> that's how confused I am. But I'm, I'm vibing. Um, in your own mind, though, where, yeah. when and how did it go from, I want to be a professional, I'm in my room, I'm in a different con- country, I'm putting songs out there. When did it go from, I want to be professional, holy crap, I am a professional? Well, that's like kind of the thing I'm like realizing now, like I'm not a professional still. Uh. <laughs> like, because like, what? I don't know, like musically, like I'm like, you know, I think I have a level of like imposter syndrome, but I, I definitely think I'm like getting better and stuff. And, um, but like when like, like I was like strumming in my guitar yesterday, like I played a show in San Francisco and then I was like, I'm, I had forgotten to like unhit, like, like hit the mute button. So like my guitar was like fully muted. Right. So I, was, like, like, <laughs> I was like shredding the shit out of it and I wasn't even playing. And then I was like, oh. and then I realized I, I'm not playing guitar right now. And then all these like people like vibing and then like y'all paid $30 to see me like think I'm playing guitar. You know what's funny? I hope you never change. How about that? Yeah, I mean, me too. I, I think I think it's, I don't think it ever will. So like, I don't ever want to be like, yeah, I'm a professional musician and i take myself very seriously so you know i think that's that this is just my vibe uh coachella what is the one thing you're looking forward to the most of being out there and is it the other artist is it your performance is it the food pick something oh clothing anything it's it's kind of oh maybe just like the i just want to like experience like coachella because like this is we go like way back, like Tumblr 2013, like seeing a bunch of girls with like, you know, like the Tumblr uh, Coachella outfit. I don't know, like I just want to get that vibe. But also I want to see Harry Styles play. He just put out a new amazing song. Yes, and yes. we're playing it on our show and on the radio station so good. quite often. Yeah. How cool it came out like with an alternative feeling song that sounds like something that I've heard before in my past life, but it yeah. also sounds futuristic at the same time. It's so beautiful. And it's just like, it's just like, but... I think like, you know, it sounds like something I could have heard before, but it's just like the melodies are so striking and it's just like, it's so emotional and that's why we're, everyone loves it because like we need emotions and shit. So have you met Harry? No, He's, I haven't. It's at the top of your list. It, it might, it's like, it's at the top of everything, you know? Okay, So Got like it. making music, that's like meeting Harry. It's... Let's make that happen. Yes. Let's make that Maybe happen one day. at Coachella. Stryker, we do not have that kind of power. Hold on one second here. <laughs> we know some people who know some people who you potentially know, can somebody, point out our boss. You know. <laughs> that would be so awesome. I don't Vince know if we the can... director, you I know, you yeah. know, he'd be, oh, we'll see. All right. Um, since we have you here, yeah. we played serotonin like crazy and still do. Thank you. Can, of course. Can you just like... How did that song come about? Where were you in your house, your room? Like, how did that happen for you? Um, so that song started out as a TikTok in my uh, old house where I used to live when I was a kid. So my mother's house. Yes, I just I just had a brain fart. You know, like when your brain like fully dies. Um, well, it's not fully dead yet. Uh, it's still here. Uh, doot. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, and it started out in my m- mother's house, and then I took it back to uh, Oslo, worked a little bit on it there. I was just, like, making beats, making this cool da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da riff. And then I took it to Bergen, which is where I recorded my entire album. I was at a random cabin by the water in Bergen, beautiful scenery, just, like, great. And then I was just, like, you know, rapping to, for myself, like, just, like, I don't know. It, it literally, it, 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 it came to be in so many different places. And then... Phineas jumped on the production stuff at the very end. He added some cool wow. percussion stuff. And he was like, I love this song. It's the coolest song I've ever heard. And I was like, yo, wow. yo, big Hollywood man. Yes. <laughs> um, What's it like getting accolades from, you know, Billy and Taylor Swift and all of these other artists that are really paying attention to you? Now, that's got to be just mind-blowing it's really cool i actually got like a you know like in like your iphone like you get like highlights from like what happened like, like alert, a year yeah. ago like i had this like thing like one one year ago i just and, and this it was just this big image of me like with like really swollen eyes like red eyes and just like snot everywhere because like that was like right after i saw taylor reposting uh my album on her story so um a lot of tears especially from taylor i'm just incredibly soft for taylor she's so cool um but 
it's really cool, man. I just like, you know, like I said, I, I don't see myself as like one of the professionals, but like when other people that I view as professionals who probably feel the same way as not being professional, then, you know, it's just kind of cool. What know. about the song, I'll Call You Mine? It's another song that we've been playing like crazy on our show and on Alt 98.7 every single day. Such a summer vibe. Yes. yes. So tell us about that one. Where, how, who, what? Um, That was the first song that I made that I was like, oh, this could fit on an album because it had like mm. a... A cooler, like it had like something next level to it when I wrote it, and uh, uh, it started out as something really. I I don't know. I, I was singing with a weird dark voice, like break me down, and then and then I I I took that away, and then it became a better song. <laughs> I was thinking, I don't recall that on the song. You're like, well, no. then I took that away. I was like, yeah, I had to, I took that away. And then, you know, then the song became something like the summary vibe. It's just like a feel good song. It's like, it's like, I've said this a billion times, but it's the song that I, I see myself as like being 70 years old, like kind of like Patti Smith, you know, she's probably oh. older than that. But, you know, and then just like, I mean, just like, I'm, I don't have the, like the body to jump around anymore. So I'm just like, I need the crowd to do everything for me. So like, I'll be like this, Bruh! me down and then I probably had so uh, a lot of damage to my vocal cords so then it'll, it'll be like the original version again break me down and y'all be in the back and be like there it is <laughs> that can we hear some of these songs? I say we get you to play serotonin. If Can you, you don't do that? mind, there's a guitar mind. like eight feet behind you. Yeah, that's a new that guitar. Possible? It was a free guitar. A really? free guitar? Yeah. Is that because? Because I'm a professional. I knew it. Yeah. I was going she to say it. She is yeah, a professional. Yeah. She's, she's girl in red, yes. and she's a professional, and she's on Booker and Stryker on Alt 98.7.